Konnichiwa everyone, today we are learning Japanese with our conversation group while wearing a kimono. The kimono is a stunning symbol of Japanese culture. Originally worn by all social classes, it evolved into a formal garment, particularly for women. Now, you may have noticed a difference in sleeve length. Some kimonos have long flowing sleeves, while others have shorter, more practical ones. This actually has a hidden meaning. Kimonos with long trail sleeves, known as furisode, are traditionally worn by unmarried women, particularly at coming of age ceremonies. The longer the sleeves, this symbolize elegance and creates carefree spirit sense. On the other hand, shorter sleeves, typically reaching the wrist or mid forearm, indicate a more mature state in life. Married women or those attending more formal occasions often wear kimonos with shorter sleeves, known as tome sode. Putting a kimono is an art form in itself. During our workshop, we were assisted by both volunteers in the proper way to tie the obi, the decorative sash that cinches the kimono at the waist. Throughout the experience, we felt a deep sense of cultural appreciation. The kimono isn't just clothing, it's a tradition, a story woven into silk and vibrant colors. And let me tell you, this experience wouldn't have been half as enriching without the support of our amazing Japanese conversation group. Participating in conversation groups is a fantastic way to actively engage with the language, practice speaking and listening with native speakers and gain valuable insights into the Japanese culture. So if you are looking to improve your Japanese proficiency, consider joining a conversation group. It's a fun supporting environment where you can learn from each other and grow your language skills together. Plus, you may end up with some unforgettable experiences like our kimono workshop. So if you ever get the chance to wear a kimono, embrace the experience. It's a beautiful way to connect with Japanese culture and create lasting memories.